Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This was a requested video by some of you asking to see what fits inside the Coach Cassie 19. For those of you who are not familiar with this bag, this is the slightly smaller version of the original Coach Cassie. It doesn't have the attached top handle, but it does come with three different removable straps, which makes it really versatile and really fun. I also think that the size is really good for all of your daily essentials and just for throwing it on for everyday on the go errands. So let me give you a close up. This is the chalk color with the pebbled leather and the brassy hardware. I hope you can get a good look. It's a bit cloudy today here in New York and the lighting is not so good. I usually try to film on sunny days, but since a lot of you had requested this video, I didn't want to wait too much longer. I think it's supposed to rain for the next few days, so I just thought I'd go ahead and film. So here I took off the straps as I mentioned. I will show you later in the video all three straps so you can get a good look of the different ways to wear this bag. Oh, before I get started, this is the turn lock and I'll show you what's inside and how I packed it. I've actually not used this bag at all except for inside my home because I haven't had the occasion to wear it yet. I would have loved to have worn it on Easter Sunday for church service, but obviously with everything closed, we were not able to go to church and just looked at service online through our computers. So I have not worn this bag at all, but I did put the items in there that I normally would put for bags that I take out just so that it's realistic. But let me show you my nails because for those of you who have been watching my videos and also follow me on Instagram, you know I have sort of gone off the deep end with pink these days and I don't know why there are two theories one is the longer we're in lockdown the more I'm looking for eye candy and pizzazz and just distractions so I seem to be gravitating towards colors that I normally wouldn't because pink is really not my color the other theory is I'm spending a lot of time with my nine-year-old daughter and she's got all kinds of girly girl stuff and girly girl colors and maybe she's influencing me now I don't know but in my last video that I did I think I hope if you watched it you got a good laugh out of it because it was fun for me to make it was all about my husband's reactions to my bags and he ultimately ranked his top three favorite and his bottom least favorite bags and some of his comments were just so off the wall and pretty hilarious to me so I shared that video and in that video I had this light shimmery pink nail polish on that that too was just not me but I, I had it on and I showed you the color because some of you reach out after my videos and you ask me what color was your nail polish, what's the name of it, so I showed you and it was pink diamond, but then I took it up a notch <laughs> just a few days ago. With this nail polish on, I actually painted on top of it with an even more audacious pink color. And this is from my daughter's collection, oh my gosh, so it's the OPI brand and you can see it's super sparkly. And it is called, let's see here, Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel. So I piled on more pink and more shimmer, and I don't know what I'm doing. Please let me know in the comments below if you feel like you're going off on the deep end too. <laughs> Just randomly choosing different styles and colors that you normally wouldn't have because, I don't know, I feel weird. It's fun though, it's fun. So getting back to the bag, let me open this up for you. So... For those of you who are not already familiar with this bag, one of the major pros is how it's organized with so many compartments. So you've got one compartment here, another large main compartment in the center, and then this really nice back pocket, or yeah, it's, it's a back pocket. This is truly the back pocket back here, which is also a plus to have. So like I said, I packed it with the things I normally would have carried. Here in the front, I have my Louis Vuitton coin purse. This is from the 2019 animation collection. Let's put that down. And then I still have my keys in this microfiber pouch because I haven't found the perfect key pouch. You guys know about my journey if you've watched those videos. And so that's it for the front. And then I have a pair of sunglasses here in just kind of wrapped in the cloth. These are from my trip to Barcelona and it's from a boutique called Bimba y Lola. I felt like with this chalk color and the brassy hardware, this style would go really nicely together. It has sort of this army green and then, I don't know, I thought it would look cute. I'm not able to put the sunglass case in because it's too wide, so I'll show you that. So this is the original matching sunglass case and it's just 
I can smush it in, but it's quite long as you can see. So if you are the type to carry sunglasses with you all the time and you want to have your case with you or you just happen to carry more items, then I think the original Cassie size, which is a couple of inches larger, might be better for you. Also, I have these Dior sunglasses that come in this triangular shaped sort of hard case and they can fit also, but I don't like the shape of it. It takes up so much, so much room. I'll just show you these really quickly. These in my mind are a little bit more edgy. They have the uh, Lady Dior studding. I bought these in Rome last year. Okay, and then I have my, probably my favorite sunglasses. These are my Louis Vuitton sunglasses. And a lot of you guys have commented when I showed those sunglasses in the past. This too is quite snug. So if you guys know of any really small, minimalist uh, looking soft sunglass cases that would be good for this size bag or for other mini bags, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to take a look because I don't really have um, good sunglass cases that I can take with me. Okay, so moving on, I have a pack of tissues here. And then I have my Chanel card holder. And I have my trusty mini pochette, which is probably about three quarters of a way full. There's still a little bit of space here. But I have a whole bunch of bits and bobs that I carry with me on a daily basis, so that fits in really nicely. And then I don't have anything in the zipper compartment, but I think it would be really useful for larger bills or even feminine hygiene products for discretion. You can stick it in there. And then here as well, I don't have anything, but I did want to show you. Here I have my passport. It's actually a great place to slip your passport in if you are planning to travel with this bag because with while it's kind of in the back and it's a little bit more discreet and it's against your body and then you have the turn lock it's pretty secure I wouldn't really worry about someone getting in there so I wanted to show you that it doesn't fit in the zippered compartment it's just about a half a centimeter too long to fit in there neatly so it would have to be back here now in the original coach Cassie I'm sure it would fit oops what is that oh this is the original tag I'm sure in the original Coach Cassie you would fit because like I said before, the original one is just a little bit longer and probably everything inside is a little roomier. And then in the back, I love this back pocket because I can stick my phone. Right now I'm filming with it, but this is my iPhone 7 Plus case. So if you have a phone that is this size or smaller, then I think it would work fine. If you have a much larger phone, it may be a little snug as you can see here. But it works really nicely and it's easy to access so you don't have to necessarily um, undo the lock and go into the main compartment to pull your phone out because I think for most of us our phone is what we reach for very often throughout the day. So that's it. Let me move all of these things aside and then I'll bring out the different straps. Okay, so for starters, let me close this back up. I do love the fact that you have three different straps and therefore three different styles essentially. It's kind of like getting three different bags. So for the most easy kind of everyday grab and go, if you wanted to throw this on crossbody, you have this very simple, easy, adjustable crossbody strap that's in the matching pebble leather. I love that not only does it have multiple holes to adjust for any height, but I love that it has two of these leather tabs because for those of you who know me, you know it's a huge pet peeve of mine when there is no strap at the end and then this thing just is dangling out there and it starts to curl up. That I think happens to the Gucci Soho Disco, which is partial, partially the reason why I don't have that bag. I just don't like when the leather curls. So anyway, here you have the longer strap, and then I'll show you the top handle, which I think is really kind of ladylike and feminine looking. I don't usually carry my bag's top handle at all, but I think it's fun to have this if you're wearing a beautiful light spring or summer dress, and then you just carry this in your hand or in the crook of your arm. I just think it's really cute. 
And it just gives you a different vibe. You know, us ladies, depending on our mood, we want to ch uh, change up our looks. So how cool is it that you get to change this out for three different straps? And then, again, I'm not really much for shoulder bags and I'm really not much for chain straps. But for some reason, this one I really do like. I think it's because the length so I'll show you I don't have anything like this it's not too short and not too long it doesn't hang all the way down to my waist or my hip but it's not too short that it's up against my armpit it is just the right length to hit me kind of like in the rib cage yeah I think the bag dangles down below kind of right around my my ribs and I think it looks super chic if you go on to the coach website there's those model photos and it looks really pretty with this brassy chain it's actually quite hefty in weight so it's not light and the bag itself is not heavy but it's also not on the lighter side I definitely own lighter bags and it's probably because it is a lot of leather and anytime a bag has multiple compartments like this and different layers of leather it tends to be heavier I've noticed but it's not so heavy that it becomes um, a burden. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. For those of you who requested it, I hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to join because we do have lots of fun here. Okay, take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.